Linux is often praised as the most privacy conscious choice for people who are tired of big tech companies data collection and spying. In today's video, we'll see just how true this really is. Welcome to Privacy Review, the series where I deep dive into the privacy of our everyday tech. This is Privacy Review Linux. Big tech companies like to collect data and they collect a lot of it. Each company, whether it's Apple, Microsoft or other, could directly benefit from collected data since they own the platform. The first amazing thing about Linux is the fact that it's not owned by anyone. Literally, nobody owns Linux, meaning that depending on the Linux distribution or Linux flavor that you install, you will have zero data collection. Even the most popular distro Ubuntu will only collect the absolute minimum amount of information of which none is identifiable. This all leads to the second advantage of Linux, the fact that it's open source. Open source means that all the code that is used to create the operating system is free to use, review and contribute. From a security perspective, open source is a big win because public entities can check if any code is malicious or if there's any spying in the OS. This is a big contrast to what Apple or Microsoft are doing since both Windows and Mac OS are closed source. So we cannot check if there's any hidden spying or data collection involved. One other thing that makes Linux extremely secure is the way it handles permissions. In Linux, everything has to be confirmed by the user even at the smallest level. For example, with Windows, if you get a virus, it could do a lot of damage without you even knowing. Whereas with Linux, the virus couldn't do anything because you would first need to physically enter your password. And since we're talking about viruses, it's a good time to mention that they are a rather rare breed on Linux. Because of Linux's low market share and massive platform fragmentation, writing a virus on Linux is time consuming and 99% of the time pointless. That's not to say that Linux isn't used anywhere. In fact, over 95% of all internet is built on Linux. But while Linux is used in routers, servers, TVs, embedded systems, and phones, it fails to capture the hearts of desktop users. The desktop market share for Linux globally is less than 3%. So why is an operating system that is so amazing for privacy and security so unpopular? Enter the Linux wall of complexity. Back in 2012, my parents bought me a laptop with Ubuntu on it. And quite honestly, I struggled. And I struggled hard. I had difficulty doing the most mundane tasks. For instance, I could never figure out how to even install a game or let alone play it. Additionally, I found Linux to be a bit inconvenient. Some apps were different, while some of my entertainment apps would simply not work. And when it comes to privacy, there's always this battle with convenience. So here are some of the things that make Linux inconvenient and difficult to get started with. The first daunting step for a lot of people is choosing their starting Linux distro. Some distros such as Pop! OS are optimized for creative workflows with custom UI and gesture support. On the other hand, Cubes OS is designed for extreme privacy. This distro fragmentation is a huge problem for the whole Linux platform. Linux also has a big, big problem with hardware compatibility and support. In contrast, Windows is an extremely popular platform and manufacturers are more incentivized to develop drivers for it. With Linux, you may have difficulties with your sound not working, experiencing random bugs with your graphics card drivers, and more. Most people might be blaming Linux here, but really it's the companies that are at fault. They do not provide the necessary drivers to support Linux. You might have even seen this video of Linus Torvald, the creator of Linux, criticizing Nvidia in his famous FU Nvidia speech. Nvidia, a graphics card manufacturer, made it harder to adapt their drivers on Linux, hence the F and the U from Linus. My recommendation here would be to use AMD hardware if possible, since it has excellent Linux support. The last and Quite honestly, the biggest problem with Linux for most people is ease of use. We humans, we love familiarity and we hate change. And that's exactly what Linux is. It's a change and a pretty big one. You've probably seen this famous meme video of a Linux user installing a web browser and thinking, wow, Linux is crazy. Okay, to be fair, it's not like that most of the time. There are some apps that will require you to enter a couple lines of code into the terminal. And I know for some of you, this sounds strange but that's just how things are in Linux. In the previous point, I spoke about the lack of hardware support on Linux. This spills over to software too. You may run into some apps or games being completely absent or not working correctly on Linux. One that comes to my mind as a content creator is Adobe Premiere and its siblings. 
And in the gaming world, popular games like PUBG, Rainbow Six Siege, Destiny 2, and many others will simply not work due to their anti-cheat systems. That being said, things are improving after the launch of Valve's handheld gaming system, the Steam Deck. All in all, Linux is truly a great platform for security and privacy. The fact that it's open source is quite unique and that makes it truly special. But as with other pro privacy solutions, it all comes at a cost. Privacy versus convenience. Which is more important for you? Learning the intricacies of Linux can be difficult, but the days of company data collecting and the worry of virus attacks could disappear forever. Linux privacy gets a 9 out of 10. I highly recommend that you guys give Linux a try. And hey, maybe you'll love it and it will become your daily driver.